Welcome to the Tabletop Nights. My name is Victor, and I know that a lot of our subscribers are Dice Throne fans, so we have some pretty big unboxings on the channel today, including Dice Throne Season 1 Rerolled, which comes with the Treant vs. Ninja box as well, as well as a separate unboxing for Dice Throne Adventures. So if you love Dice Throne and you want to see more Dice Throne content on this channel, make sure you give these videos lots of love, a comment, a like. Um, the more the love they get, the more Dice Throne content you'll actually see on the channel. So I know we, we're planning to do a uh, Treant vs. Ninja fight for you. Also, we're going to be mixing some of the sets up Season 1 versus Season 2, things like that, uh, and also uh, a playthrough of Dice Throne Adventures, probably uh, quite a few scenarios. So if you're getting this and you don't want to see any spoilers, stop watching now. Uh, but I'm going to be unboxing it fairly thoroughly, having a look at a few of the characters um, and a few of the add-ons as well. So also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. It means quite a lot to us. All right, let's, uh, let's get dug straight in. I'm not sure what to open first. There's quite a lot. Again, I thought I'd do Season 1 re-rolled and Dice Run Adventures in separate videos just in case you get one and you don't get the other. That way you can select which unboxing you want to see as opposed to one like 40-minute video that you have to sort of skip through. So um, let's go open up the uh, Treant vs. Ninja. I'm, I'm really um, excited to see the Treant. I played the uh, print and play copy and I've heard that it's quite a bit different since then. Um, it did have some balancing issues I found at that time. It was sort of hard to use his abilities at the time, but I've been told that they've changed it quite a bit since then. So um, I'm really excited to to open this one, probably the most out of everything, to be honest, because, yeah, I love the train. I love the look of him. And also the ninja I played on Dice Throne, uh, not Dice Throne, Dice Throne on the Mind. I also played on Tabletop Simulator quite a bit. So again, it's something I'm very looking forward to, to doing, so to having a look at. All right, so we've got the Triumph box. We've got the Ninja box. We'll have a look at those in a second, but it's the same as the Season 2. You wouldn't have it any other way. They're, again, the reason they did Season 1 re-rolled is so that they could have the Season 1 characters look like Season 2. So uh, let's have a look at some of the add-ons. Play in style. Very nice. Some extra advertising. Uh, we have some tokens here for the Treant by the looks of it. And maybe the Ninja because there's, yeah, the, the Ninja and the Treant tokens here. So these might be extras, I'm, I'm not sure. Plus, also, if you're a Dice Throne person, you know you're going to have about a thousand rule books. But uh, this is version 2.2, so it's going to have some of the extra rules in it um, and new rules and updated. So it's always good to play uh, the current rule book. Uh, let's, let's pop some of these tokens, shall we? Yeah, they, they pop really well. We've got the little seedlings and stuff, and the and the, so what the trend does is it basically plants seeds in a way, and then grows them to be like sort of allies for him, um, which he can use to re-roll dice. So that's the way it used to play. I'm not sure if it still plays like that. Um, that's the way he used to play. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be uh, more or less the same. But let's have let's have a look. Let's open him up here. All right, and this is what we like to see. Ooh. Is, uh, is he meant to be off-center? There we go. There's the back. So, again, no, it's not meant to be off-center. That is him closed up, and then you open it up, and it is like this. So, beautiful boards, the Dice Throne boards. And after a few plays, like, they always they always start up, start off a little bit wonky, but the more you play with it, the more you stretch them out, the, the flatter they go over time. So, um, don't worry about that. But, yeah, absolutely beautiful art. It's one of the things that really sell dice throne one of the reasons that attracted to me it uh, to me it in the first place is is the art style then obviously um easy to learn hard to master gameplay as well uh we've got the uh, the treant sheet here um, so yeah it's got the spirit seedling spirit sapling spirit dryad um barbed vine and wellspring it's, it's, I don't really remember what it used to be like. Uh, I'm assuming they've changed it quite a bit. Uh, maybe not quite a bit, but they've changed it and made him a bit more balanced. Um, but that's cool. Um, obviously, he doesn't have any tokens, so we'll just add the tokens from before in. So the seeds. Whoops. Uh, what else? We've got the barbed vines. There'll be a few of those. Uh, the well springs. And more of like the saplings and stuff, seedlings. There we go. So these must be for the ninja. Um, we've obviously got the dials. And again, Roxley's really good with replacement pieces as well. So if you do have a dial that um, is sort of busted up, they will they will replace it for you uh, with time, obviously. 
so beautiful combat point dial and then we've got the the health dial these are the ones that can break quite easily but i think they're perfecting them slowly slowly over time making them better each time so that's a beautiful dial double-sided obviously uh, well not double-sided but you've got the back to make it easy sl uh, change of of of, uh, of life then we've got the best part, which is the dice. And I've actually got the uh, little d dice tray, the, the dice thrown dice tray that they sent as well. I'm not sure if I even paid, paid for this or got it as an add-on or if it was a part of a, a stretch goal or anything like that. But uh, I'm glad I, I got it because I really do like using uh, dice trays for dice thrown. Um, tray and dice. So he's got three different faces. Uh, branches, leaves, and spirits. Uh, what's his ultimate do? Let's have a look. Wake the forest. Uh, you and a chosen teammate gain wellspring, grow five spy, uh, grow five spirits, inflict barbed wire, then deal ten damage. So, um, a lot of different things happening there. Obviously, the dice and dice are some of the best part of the whole board game, which is probably one of the the other appeals other than the art is the fact that you get to roll a lot of dice, which people really love. Uh, then we've got the trance cards. Another reason why I did it in a separate video than Dice Run Adventures is because um, I don't want to go... I'm not going to dig too much into the old characters and have a look at their cards and stuff, but it's going to be quite a large unboxing. So uh, my apologies if uh, you want to see short, quick unboxings, but this is what this is what we do on the Tabletop Nights. We, not, we like to do nice, thorough unboxings. All right. So we've got Drink Deep. So again, uh, season two um, introduced the cards with the art on them, and they've obviously continued that into season one re-rolled, which is good, which I really like. Um, yeah, you just don't want to get these mixed up with other other decks because then it's can be quite annoying to separate. Oh man, the art is so is so nice. Looks like there's quite a lot of yeah. So they've got a lot of the unique cards like Stomp that'll be exclusive to the tree and only. Uh, then you also have your other cards like six it so all the decks are quite balanced in that way you'll have a few um, hero specific cards and then you'll have a bunch of cards that are the same to the other decks everyone loves it my favorite card probably uh get that out of here remove status effect uh, remove a status effect uh, token from a chosen player i just love saying that get that out of here uh, then you've got your turn order and uh, one of the best parts is it's always really easy, really simple to pack up. You close that, you put your dice back in, your five dice, you put your pamphlet back in. And obviously, just quickly before we uh, leave this, uh, this has the complexity of the character. The terrain's actually a six rank, so he's quite complex. Or at least that's what the creators of Dice Throne think. Or maybe even the fans think that he's quite complex. Um... And then a list of the components, some frequently asked questions, which is huge. When they added that to Dice Throne Season 2, that was massive. Um, and then what the, the tokens do. And they, these are beautiful. Like every inch of this board game is, is, is gorgeous. Uh, so we'll put this back in. It actually goes that way. And then you put this on top. And they just pack away so nicely. Very easy to bring uh, to carry around, and then again, another draw of Dice Throne is is that. Um, if you want as well, there are also sleeves, so you get fifty per character. Um, I don't know if this is going to everybody, but I got the I got sleeves. Um, I probably won't put mine in sleeves um, while we're recording it just because there is quite a bit of glare on the camera like um, you wouldn't be able to read the card if I was showing it to you right now. So for recording purposes, I don't sleeve, but uh, if I was a normal human being, no, no, no. If I was playing like normally without recording, 110% I would sleeve because uh, these cards get shuffled uh, quite a bit and um, used quite a bit, especially if you love Dice Throne. All right, let's let's uh, let's go into the Ninja now. And the box is obviously always beautiful as well. Like such a big draw. Like they're so appealing to look at, especially on the shelf. So we'll put the Treant back in there and they pop away so easily. We'll put the dice frame back in, uh, the advertisement, and I might put the cards, the card sleeves in there at a later date. Right now we've got the ninja, same thing. 
and then it opens up to reveal the ninja board. Very cool. Very strong character. Um, I think this will probably be one of the favourites of many people going going forward now that they've got it. So same thing. When you when you first place it down, it's a little bit wonky. But the more you play it and the more you sort of bend it in shape, the, the more to sort of go flat on the board. At least in our experience, it did. So... Um, now he's got his, his little tokens that we added before. He's got the uh, ninjutsu ability, which I remember being really strong when, when play testing this guy. I wasn't a tester, but I tested him out when he was first on our Tabletop Simulator. Uh, delayed Poison, which is a new ability. So a player afflicted with this token removes it at the conclusion of their turn and then receives three damage. So it's like one big poison attack. Uh, then he's got uh, smoke bombs as well. Um, again, more frequently asked questions. He's only a two difficulty, which is why I think he'll be one of the more popular popular characters going forward because he's easy, but he's quite strong as well. Or she, she, sorry, she's quite strong. Um, and, yeah, obviously we've got the beautiful board there. Close that up. Uh, combat dial. I do like. I've always liked that they've put different art on each um, on each component. That way, it doesn't get just like copy and paste. You know, sometimes they reuse art over and over again. It gets a bit bit boring. I wish this art was more readily available to sort of um, look at because I would love to be able to use some of this art for our YouTube thumbnails going forward. So I might might reach out and ask um, if that's a possibility. Uh, then we've got the the dice. Obviously, you get five of them. Um, the ninja has three faces as well, um, a sword, a shuriken, which is like a throwing star, and a mask. So, yeah, really cool. Again, dice are the, probably uh, one of the biggest draws of, of this game, and you always love seeing it. All right, let's have a look at the cards, which, again, I have more sleeves for. Uh, but I probably won't sleeve them, again, because of the glare that you get off them. All right, cool. So we've got... Uh, Again, you've got your exclusive cards for the Ninja. Smoke Offering. Fan of Knives. Throwing Stars. So I won't, won't reveal too many of them because it's always nice to um, figure it out for yourself and find them for the first time. And then you've got your classics, classics like So Wild and uh, Bye Bye and Get That Out of Here. Uh, so we'll put this back in. Again, it always packs up really easily. You put this on top. There we go. And uh, here are the sleeves for the ninja as well, just with your standard ninja design on the back. Really cool. The sleeves are always great. Um, all right, that is the Ninja vs. Treant box, or Treant vs. Ninja box, which is battle number four. Let's go dig into the big box now. All right, this is sort of this is my very first battle chest that I've actually had. Well, my battle chest book looking thing because when I got season season one, obviously didn't have it, and season two I got the individual boxes uh, from Kickstarter. So uh, this is my very first sort of big dice thrown box. So I'm looking forward to putting it behind me so everyone can see. Um, yeah, it, it's it's gonna they, this game does hold a very special place in my heart because it really did help us sort of grow the YouTube channel. Um, plus, we've had a lot of people say that they play Dice Throne because of us, so and that always means a lot to us as well. All right, here we go. Dice Throne Season One rerolled with some of our favorite characters, especially the Barbarian, one of the only characters that that heals. All right, um, we've got the back with all the characters, and the side has that book look, like that it's a big book. All right, let's, uh, let's open it up. Opens up really nice. And that's what you like to see. Nice and neat characters there. Ooh, very, very nice indeed. All right, so we have the Barbarian. So it's, it is in, in order. So we have the Barbarian, the Moon Elf, the Pyromancer, and the Shadow Thief. Then we have Monk, Paladin, Ninja, and Trian. So I might actually give away um, my box of the Trian vs. Ninja, um, just because I, I don't really need to. So um, I'll consider doing a giveaway, or I might just give it to somebody else on the channel. Um, so this is included. I don't need to open these again. Um, now, well, are the tokens already in this one? Let's have a look. The tokens are not in this one, so it must be somewhere else. Oh, here we go. In the middle section. That's where all the tokens will be, I'll, I assume. All right, so we'll put the, nin the Tran and the Ninja back away, and we'll have a look at uh, some of the others. Not all of them, though, because I don't want to spend too much time on this, because I'm going to edit it and release these videos to you guys. And I also want to go have a look at Dice Run Adventures after this. So we've got Paladin, which happens to look like one of my mates, actually. 
Uh, the Monk, uh, which I know a lot of people really love. The Shadow Thief, which is one of my favourite characters, hands down. I love the Shadow Thief. Uh, Pyromancer, very underrated, I think. I've always thought the Pyromancer was very underrated. And then we've got the Moon Elf, absolutely beautiful character. I love the art and the board of that one. And then we've got your Barbarian, which is um, a very strong character, very, very strong character. I'll probably use the Barbarian for dice or own adventures, I've got to say. So uh, let's open up a few. We'll put the Pyromancer back. We'll keep the Moon Elf and the Barbarian um, and the Thief, and we'll put the rest back. Excellent. Leave things, some things for you guys to experience on your own. So let's move that out of the way. All right. Shadow Thief. So again, these have updated from Season 1. Um, I'm not 100% sure if they've changed some of the abilities or updated them or anything like that. That's something that I don't know, so please please don't ask. Um, but ask and I'll reply if I know, if I've found out by then. So, yeah, they've just updated it so it looks the same as Season 2 and they're in these little boxes as opposed to sort of um, Dice Throne Season 1. When it first came out, there was sort of a box with all the characters loose and stuff. It did make it quite annoying to put away. Um, but there you go. Shadow Thief character, then you've got uh, the board, which again is updated with all the frequently asked questions, which again is massive for these Season 1 characters. Um, and then you've got, look at these dice. So lovely, so beautiful. Absolutely love the dice in this in this game. Good on them. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for this. I'm happy for Roxley. I'm happy for Nate, for Manny, for Gavin. Um, they've done an amazing job with this. Uh, They've, they've got fanboys now, so not fanboys, fanboys and girls, really. Um, they Yeah, they really have done something incredible with this. Uh, then you've, uh, you've got the cards specific for the character. Gain shadows, shadow coin, uh, wild shadow, that sort of thing. Poison wound. So, yeah, uh, that's for the um, shadow thief. Again, the dial, I think they've, I think they've perfected them now. Uh, yeah, nice and tight, but then they loosen up quite easy. I think they really have perfected the um, the dials and stuff now. Uh, the tokens obviously will be in this packet, hopefully. Otherwise, uh, that'll be awkward. Let's open it up now to make sure. All right. Beautiful. All right, just what I needed, another rule book. Love it. Uh, then we've got all the, the tokens for all the characters. There we go. Now they'll just pop out quite nice. You can automatically see that the tree and has some. Uh, it isn't. It doesn't really fit in with the season one because it has all the extra tokens which they really did introduce in season two. Uh, then you've got you know the stock standard ones, poison, um, knock down things like that. Uh, stun, one of the most overpowered abilities in the game. <laughs> no, no, it's it's a cool ability if you can pull it off. All right then we have the barbarian. Greg's favourite character. Look at that. They really did step it up for Season 1 re-rolled as well. And I'm glad they did it. When they first announced it, I was like, oh, I just want Season 3. You know, I want more characters. But then uh, the more the longer I waited for it, I was like, yeah, Season 1 re-rolled will be very important, I think, to keep to keep up. Hopefully they don't change the format again for Season 3. And then we have to buy Season 1 and 2 re-rolled once again. So um, that's the Barbarian character. And then one of the most pretty characters is the Moon Elf. Let's open this board up. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Very impressive stuff, honestly. Uh, then again, very important. They've got the frequently asked questions on the back. Uh, two difficulty, the Moon Elf, apparently. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Components, and then obviously the list of things that it does. Oh, look at these dice. Bright blue... Gorgeous. Absolutely thrilled with that. Let's open up one more packet of cards before we uh, stop the recording and then start Dice Rune Adventures unboxing. Alright. Evade. Volley. Take that. That's a cool looking card. Very cool. And then obviously you've got your, your standard cards. Alright, we'll put this back. One last thing to have a look at before uh, we go. Again, so easy to, to pack away so nicely. Uh, we also got some uh, promo cards. Promo card set um, includes eight times main phase cards and eight randomizer cards. So that's something that um, 
Like if you want to pick a character randomly, you can. Oh God, very stickery. All right, here we go. So we've got Barbarian, Moon Elf, Monk, Paladin, Pyromancer, Shadow Thief, Ninja, Train, and then you've got some promo cards um, already to add to the character. So um, I won't I won't have a look at these just because they might be considered spoilers if you want to sort of know the rules. But you've got one for uh, the Barbarian, one for Monk, one for Moon Elf. Looks like you've got one for each character. So there you go. That's it. And then obviously, if you want to pick a character at random, which is always a good way to do it, shuffle it up, draw one, and you've got it. Boom, that's Dice Run Adventures. Once again, give this video lots of love. If you want to see more Dice Run on the channel, it's sort of, um, we were releasing a weekly Dice Run and then the views, obviously, um, in between the releases got less and less. So we're like, let's just focus on some other board games for a while, which we have been. But we're back into Dice Throne now. We'll obviously be doing the normal uh, board games as well on the channel. But we're going to be focusing pretty heavily on Dice Throne in 2021 for a while including a um a tabletop nights competition just the the seven of us seven of us maybe eight of us doing a dice round um competition for a little reward at the end maybe i'll give away a season one re-rolled for the for the reward that's actually a really good idea all right thank you very much for watching until next time see ya